welcome to Under the Hood. I'm Chuck Green, and this week we're gonna take a look at two more new lasers in the American DJ series, and these are both part of the Royal lasers, meaning they have a UV purplish laser. Uh, we've got the Royal 3D, and for those of you that are familiar with all our lasers, it's kind of like the Galaxian 3D, but we'll take a look at that in a moment. And then we've got the Royal Sky, that's right. You liquid sky lovers, that's my liquid sky hand effect thing. <laughs> We've got the royal sky here and this does a green and purple liquid sky effect. So let's take a look at them in action and then we'll rip them apart. The American DJ Royal 3D features one 30 milliwatt green and one 350 milliwatt violet blue laser diode that rotate back and forth, creating a really cool aerial effect. Like I said earlier, it's very similar to our Galaxian 3D effect, but now you got UV and green. The Royal 3D has five DMX channels, three operational modes that include DMX operations, sound active, or master slave. The 90 degree beam angle makes it perfect to cover a large area, and the unit only consumes 24 watts of total power. There's a total of 15 laser patterns. The lasers will move back and forth to the beat of the music and even strobe. The Royal 3D has IEC in and out, so you can daisy chain up to 14 Royal 3Ds together. The Royal 3D features the same menu that a lot of the American DJ fixtures has. It has the four character and four button display. Of course, you got DMX in and out. And for you UC3ers out there, we've got the UC3 quarter inch control jack. And then obviously power on and off. Um, last time I talked to Brian Red, he was asking what was wrong with his laser and I, that was it. Um, you've got the safety loop of course like i've always said practice safe lighting and iec in and out and you could like i said earlier you can daisy chain up to 14 royal 3ds together the american dj royal sky also features a 30 milliwatt green and a 350 milliwatt violet blue laser. This one creates 20 different patterns and of course it does that famous liquid sky effect. This laser is perfect for clubs or the entertainer on the go. Just turn it on and let it go. Or you can run it DMX or Master Slave of course. The Royal Sky uses six DMX channels. It uses 1.8 degree stepper motors for smooth movement and it has very low power consumption. The Royal Sky has IEC in and out, so you can daisy chain up to 16 Royal Skies together. The back of the Royal Sky has pretty much all the same features, but it's a little bit wider. Um, you can see here on the, on the back we have a grill for the fan, so it's a little bit wider. Uh, but same display menu. It has DMX in and out, UC3 control, on off switch, safety loop, and IEC in and out. I think it's time we take it apart. Okay, well, I'm running a little short on time and I have to tear both of these apart. So I guess it's time I let you viewers know that I actually have a stunt double and his name's Patrick and he's gonna help me take them apart today. So come on out here, Patrick. Here's your uh, Allen wrench. Mm. Okay, well, as you know, safety first. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is show you what's going on here in the Royal Sky. Behind the uh, big old wiring harness here, we've got the main PC board. Up here, we've got the DMX drivers and the whole usual bit. But the, the power for this unit comes right from here. This is the ultraviolet uh, laser diode. And up here is the green laser diode and a piece, right, we have a piece of dichroic glass here, which the blue shoots straight through and the green reflects off of. And in here, this is where a lot of the liquid sky magic happens. You've got a motor on top here and then you've got a motor in the side here with two 
you know, spinning these two mirrors extremely fast, creating the liquid sky effect. I um, unfortunately am not able to get into that area. We have to keep something secret, but uh, this is basically where all the magic happens as far as the uh, animation for the lasers. But uh, I'll go ahead and turn it on here. Okay, now it's on and you can see the green laser reflecting off this right into the little magic black box. And then we've got the blue one shooting straight through. And then of course, it comes out the front. Okay, I've got the Royal 3D opened up and it's got a lot of the same stuff you see in a lot of the fixtures. Over here on the side, you can't really see it, but the main PC board is stashed over here. DMX driver's up here. Here's the 30 milliwatt green laser diode, and here's the 350 milliwatt ultraviolet laser diode. Up here is the cooling fan. And then if you look down here, here's the motor driving the two prisms that, um, you know, for the both lasers. This is a dual aperture fixture, so we're not using bounce mirrors inside this like we are in the Royal Sky. Um, but there is a prism in front of each laser. The, the ultraviolet one shoots the laser beams all over the room, and the green one does the folding and flattening uh, 3D effect. So here I'll kick it on. Okay, man, these are bright. So, as you can see, simply the UV one shoots straight through the prism and out the front aperture. The green one does the same. If I turn it up, there you go. That is the Royal 3D. All right, again, don't do this at home. I better put them back together. All right, well, again, that was the Royal 3D and the Royal Sky. And please don't take them apart. Let me tell you, putting them back together is a royal pain in the... Anyhow, I'm Chuck Green. Don't forget to leave your comments below. We'll see you next time.